Hello and welcome to episode 8 of W Series Off Track. The summer break is over and we're back to racing. Here's what's coming up in this episode. We're, we're in the middle of an interview, but okay. You love dancing. It's not me. Uh, I did fall in love with it straight away. So let's get straight into it with a recap from race 5 here at Spa Francorchamps. Welcome to Belgium. The green flag is out and we are finally racing at Spa. It's second place for Emma Kimmelainen and she's on the charge. Head down, Jenny. Just try to stay with her. A brilliant victory in the wet for Emma Kimmelainen. <laughs> So with three races to go, Jamie Chadwick extends her lead at the top of the championship to seven points. But Alice Powell is still in the hunt. Emma Kimilainen's win takes her up to third in the standings and I managed to catch her straight off the podium. Finally, Emma, I'm so happy to see you here. I know I put my money on you at the beginning of the season. First full points of the season, how are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. Uh, it feels like finally. A brilliant, inspired victory in the wet for Emma Kimilainen. The teamwork we did this weekend was amazing. Uh, really difficult conditions, all the time changing. I've never been here before, so obviously there was lots of challenges. We're taking a picture. We're, we're in the middle of an interview, but okay. Do you think being a Finn and being used to really cold and slippery conditions has given you an advantage? I don't know if it's being a Finn, but it's definitely credit to my dad, who uh, always, when it started to rain, he wanted me and my brother to go and drive in go-karts, like we were really young. So then he put us on the track with flicks, like, take care! <laughs> Going all the way around the outside, can she make the corner? Yes, she can! What a way to take the lead for Emma Kimmelainen, who is the class of the field! Well, clearly you can thank your dad because he put you in a sink or swim situation. Another thing you're swimming in is champagne. Yeah. <laughs> How good did it taste? It tastes good. It tastes like wind. But, you know, all the way on the face, I don't know about that. Um, it's, it's pretty smelly, but yeah, the girls gave me a proper shower there. We know, of all people, you know how to turn a championship around. Are we going to be seeing more trophies and more champagne with you? Well, re I really hope so. I'm going to give the absolute everything I have to do that. If I'm, you know, able to, to get more wins and uh, maximize my points, uh, anything can happen in the end of the season. But yeah, I don't give up. Ever. Well, Emma, I'm going to leave you to keep celebrating. Well, there you have it. That's how Emma Kimilainen's race was. Now let's hear from the rest of the drivers in just one word how their race went. Moist. Confidence booster. So, bounce back. Difficult. Amazing. Riffer, mate. Survival. Learning. Icy. Sketchy. Moist. Raining. Surprising. Wet. Yay! As you know, life on the road for an off-track host can be quite lonely. Therefore, I've decided that I need to find my paddock bestie. I've whistled it down to Fabian Volven and Alice Powell, who over the course of this episode are gonna battle it out for my affection. The first challenge, ladies, is a simple game of true or false. Fabian, you're gonna I'm absolutely sure. kick me on this. I love dancing to jazz music. False. What? You love dancing to anything. I don't think she knows herself. I think we know her better. My favorite car is a 1964 Fiat Cinquecento. That's true. False, guys. Come no! on. Come on. The that one. was way too specific. <laughs> I prefer cold weather. That's true. You love the beach. Yeah, but she wears like that makeup that makes her makeup run, does it? What? I don't know. I don't wear makeup. I dream in French. That's false. Savvy. What? Why, why would she okay. dream in French? For now, the winner is Alice Powell. But Ooh. let's catch up later on who's going to win my affection. And in the meantime, let's see Nerea Marti taking us around her karting circuit. Hola, my name is Nerea Marti. Welcome to Karting Ortanor. Come with me. This is my trophy room. The first trophy that I won here in Cantin Ortanor. Uh, this is my favorite one. I hope to collect more soon. Nerea Marti, what a performance from her for her first trip to the podium. Let's go to the track. This is Cartin Ortanor, and this is where everything started. Welcome back to my hunt for a bestie. 
In this round, my contenders are going to be tested on their knowledge of this very show. In the paddock, I've hidden four clues about drivers who've already been involved in this program. And it's up to Alice and Fabian to find out who they are and come back to this point as fast as possible. Three, two, one, go. Who was the first driver in interviewed in the off-track episode one? I better start running! Was it me? It's not me. Was it me? Was it Jamie? Which driver did I think had the best helmet? It might be Mickey. She's got a nice helmet. Caitlin and Vicky. Who, Who gave, gave me a tour, tour of the car? car? Marta. Marta! Was it Marta? Yes, it was. Who is the bottom of the off-track challenge? I am one of them. I am at the bottom. Who else is at the bottom? Rick, is there anything in my car? Who was my standout driver of the first half of the season? It is not here. Ah. Don't run over me! Who was her standout driver the first half of the season? Naomi's. Your standout. No, Naomi's. <laughs> Ira, oh man. Return to Naomi. You've definitely beaten me, Fabi. So a 20 second difference with Fabian being a little bit quicker means that it's one round each and it's all to play for in the next round. But we'll see that after we find out why Jamie Chadwick <laughs> is a racer. I do remember the first time I drove the car, I did fall in love with it straight away. I'm Jamie Chadwick and I'm a racing driver. Chadwick wins round two of W Series. I first got into motorsport um, actually through my older brother. Uh, he started go-karting a couple of years before me and yeah, I had no interest in motorsport before that, but yeah, I guess a little bit of sibling rivalry and there were a few moments when I competed against my brother and I did beat him. Uh, it didn't go down very well in the family. There's some sort of very quiet, uh, hostile journeys home after, after being at the track. I definitely have the sort of fighting competitive spirit, but um, yeah, I think it comes with some sort of reason uh, in my head as well. You are looking at a grand slam performance from Jamie Chadwick, who has ticked every single box. My advice to any young girls watching would be, it's a bit cliche, but dream big. Um, I would say my dream was never big enough when I was younger growing up, and it's only now just becoming bigger. So dream big, nothing's impossible. I'm definitely proud looking back considering it's not a sport that I never thought I would ever go anywhere in but I think still there's a lot I want to achieve so uh, yeah not so much to reflect on at the moment more sort of looking forward. As you know driving while being distracted on the road can be dangerous but even more so on a racetrack. So I've been busy in the W Series lab coming up with an experiment that demonstrates this and all I need is a little help from my Dutch friend Vice Gewisser. So what I need is for you to do a lap around Spa with no distractions, set a benchmark. Are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so that was an impressive time of 218.8. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but this time I'm gonna distract you with some questions about our next race which happens to be your home track and your home race in the Netherlands. Ready? Uh, yeah. Go. When was the first race in Zandvoort? Uh, good question. <laughs> uh, maybe 1950? Very close, 1948. How many souvenir clogs are produced in the Netherlands every year? <laughs> <laughs> A lot. <laughs> How many bridges are there in Amsterdam? 1,281. <laughs> How many F1 races have been at Dunford? 27. 30. That was pretty close. What are the opening words of the Dutch national anthem? Wilhelm is van Sauer. There you go. <laughs> it's only two tenths difference. <laughs> so what I can say is that you don't know much about the Netherlands, <laughs> but you clearly seem to know how to drive a car while being distracted. I guess in, uh, in LMP2 we have to communicate a lot during the lap, so um, I have to do that without crashing. I'm going to let you carry on uh, without my silly questions, but thank you very much for your time. Thank you. So Sandford is a pretty quick track, uh, it has a lot of up and down and blind corners um, so it's very tricky and fun and um, I think overtaking is not easy there so qualifying is going to be very important. 
So ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment we've all been waiting for in the hunt for my bestie. The challenge here is to draw a portrait of me and this beautiful scenery. Are you ready? Three, two, one. What you, what, one. draw you? Wait, please can you also put your helmets and gloves on? Man, <laughs> for real. Please, yes, thanks. <laughs> Visors down, please. Okay, guys, remember it needs to be beautiful enough for me to hang it up in my apartment. Ready? Go. Oh no, I've gone wrong already. Okay, Naomi, you're gonna look really nice. I think that looks just like you. Fabian, you're awfully quiet. Are you focused? Yeah, I need to focus. I need to focus. <laughs> I'm dying, man. Like, I can't have no feelings. Guys, this is a very serious title you're fighting for, so please make an effort. I am making an effort. Three, two, one. Okay, Ooh. pens down, Fabian, pens down. Wait. No. Okay, I'm dying to see this, because we all know I really need some nice, beautiful artwork for my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> you guys draw like children. <laughs> okay, this one's at least got shorts. What is the size of those legs? There's definitely more detail in the face there, and also more curl definition, which I appreciate. I'm gonna have to say... Okay, whose drawing is this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if I cheese my oh, Alice, you look so sad. I'm gonna cry. So, Fabian? I think now is an appropriate time to go and get matching BFF tattoos. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> we should get a tattoo for real. Yes, <laughs> let's do it. I haven't trained much, so I don't know, but I'm positive. Not too good. <laughs> Was impossible. I'm sorry, guys. I let you down. <laughs> Bella and Garcia there, unable to come close to Emma's score. Can anyone else topple the fin? So that's it for another episode of W Series Off Track and what a show it's been. Emma Kimilainen leaves with her first win of the season, Jamie leaves with her lead intact and I leave with a confirmed bestie. And it all starts all over again this weekend in Zandvoort. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.